Welcome back. Now, I'm sorry that the first part was so long. Um, I didn't realise it was going to be 52 minutes long, which is a bit much. Uh, the reason that they are so long is because I like to show you everything that I do. Um, sorry watching these videos where they cut through and stop halfway through. Um, it's fine it works but personally I like to show you if something goes wrong I'll show you how I fix it and I'll try to work as best I possibly can so I'm going to try and keep my little bit shorter and we'll see how we go from there ok right so here we have the F16 engine She's all glossed up. She's ready for the metals to go on. So the first metal is going to be for the what I would call the bell of the engine. Um, I'm going to try and sort out some different um, paper as such before too long. Just to try and stop the camera issues that we've got. So, I'm going to turn the compressor on. Sorry, she's going to be loud. As I said, this compressor seems very loud compared to the last one. But we're going to come in and we're going to do the bell with some darker mil spec. Mil spec. Alclad 2 metallic, which we're going to get on and get that running just to start off. So, get rid of that. Get some gloves. Do, 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 do. Gotta love wearing rubber gloves. No. Okay. Right. So, we use the um, excuse me. We used a little bit of we used the new gloss black formula to coat up. And what we're gonna do now we're just gonna blow the airbrush through just quickly. It hasn't been used for a few days. Do it to work. And then we're gonna get in there with some magnesium, which is Alt Triple One, and just tip a small amount in the colour cup for now. Put your lid back on, and all we're gonna do is just do the bell and this far end of the intake or the yeah the compressor blade area to begin with so all we're going to do is just mist coat on as I said with metals you're not trying to spray them like you would paint you're literally just misting the coats on get an overall vision of what you're doing so it's not heavy it's a really light mist coat 8 to 10 psi just to get the bell sorted and we're going to come back these all these pieces are going to be redetailed later and we're going to do the far end like I said the uh, compressor blade end we're going to pick out all the detail with a brush, including that pipework and everything that goes with it. So we're not being too particular. 
We just want a good coat on everything. This is, that light isn't very good at the moment. So she's all on there. And I'm quite happy with that. So that can sit there. Now there's a ring that goes over top of this part so this bit we haven't got to worry about too much so I'm not going to mask that end as such what we are going to do is mask just a little bit of a, a mask to help on the far end let's put the airbrush away blow that through Dudley says good morning and we're going to get out Oops, sorry, some stainless steel for the next part. So we'll just stick that in the colour cup. Like I said, with the metals, um, I'm not overly fussy on cleaning the airbrush out. It doesn't really need it that much. All we're going to do now, get a bit of a tape. Just going to line it up across this area. Oop, there. Oop. See, I'm not perfect. Never was. Never will be. Which reminds me, I need to order some new tape. And. So we're just going around the model, just creating this line so that we can use our stainless, just like that. So this bit we don't need to worry about because there's going to be a ring that goes on there. So again, blow the dust off and all we're going to do now is again mist coat over top of the gloss black and we're pointing slightly away from the mask and tape you find you'll get a better demarcation line that was the word I was looking for So we're now happy with that. Take the tape off. As you can see we've got a nice decent demarcation line. Right, straight in now with ruin that bit of tape. This time we've gone straight over the metal we've just sprayed and we're going to go around again just to give up the demarcation line again we don't need to be perfect that do nicely I'll get rid of the rest of the stainless that's in our bottle blow that through okay so those two are done and now we need some duralium or duraluminium whatever part of the world you're in small amount in the bottle pushing it out I'll show you, you can see what I'm doing 
and then the hole of this area remember I noticed I said hole not hole we're just gonna get that all blown in just to get the metal work all covered in I'm looking good there you go right now let's put the airbrush to one side and have a look at what we've got as you can see I didn't pull any of the metal off and she's three different shades of metal on there now and then I'm just going to clean up the airbrush then I'll come back and we'll start doing some of the fiddlier bits with a brush and start painting her up but so far she's looking good right back in a minute right so we're now ready to start detailing the engine itself so what we're going to do we're going to get some acrylic uh, just some acrylic yellow to begin with put some on some uh, tape get a nice brush and we're going to paint the igniters first Now, all we want, we don't want the colour to be hard, <clears throat> we just want it to be on there. So, I'm just going to do a couple of three and show you what I'm doing. And we'll get these in. Colour's not very strong. It's the trouble with using acrylics. They're not up to much standard nowadays. Although these are quite old ones, I will admit. And they need a really good shape. In fact, I've already put a 5mm stainless steel washer in there. Hopefully this will be a bit better. Just see if it is. Yeah, sorry about that. But there you go. Get rid of the bubbles. So we're just literally painting over top. Just to get the colour down. And we want it to look a little bit worn. And we will be giving her a wash in a little while anyway. So I'm just going to go around and paint all 20 of these, which won't bother to film the whole lot. So I'll leave it at that, and when I've done that, we'll come back and do a little bit more. Right, so that's the igniters all in. It takes a little while to paint them, I'm afraid. Now we're going to come in, hopefully, with some silver. And do one or two of the little pieces just to make a little bit of a difference. Um, I'm going to start just with the outer ring. Now, although it looks like I'm just painting the tops the paint will flow down to the ring <clears throat> sorry about the sound of the wife hoovering I didn't think she was going to do that yet so I'm just literally drawing the paint around 
and she will literally So fill the rest of the ring up anyway. I'll do the other side off camera. So that's that side done very difficult to see a difference I would imagine and now we're going to pick out some of the pipe work that's on this beautiful piece of engine just uh, make a little bit of a difference as I said the engine will be hidden up Nick didn't know I was going to go this whole hog on it but that's the way it is okay right now we've got some small pieces to paint just slightly different colour We're just adding a bit of detail. To different areas. Making sure we're happy with it. Just a little bit more. It's those ones. We have some other areas here where we'll come in and do uh, where else have we got there are some pipes there I'm quite happy with the silver on that okay so I'll just do that other side of the ring I wasn't going to show you but I decided I will I'm trying to make the video just that little bit shorter, but hey ho. It's all in the detail. So we drag with a lot of acrylic paints, especially to my. You have to push. This isn't to my. This is another company. Um, companies acrylics which are true acrylics not like Tamiya which is a alcohol based acrylic acrylics that I used to use before I ever got involved with Alclad or even knew what Alclad was so you can tell how long ago these were being used okay that's the two outer rings done and looking good quick clean up there paintbrush doesn't need a great deal get rid of that and we're gonna have some black and we're gonna need some red for this so we'll come in with the black first not too much just a dab okay as I said these are acrylics I've had for many years I actually sold all of my acrylics at one time and then had to come out and buy some brushable stuff 
although we are working on brushables again okay so we're just gonna blanken off the control box on the bottom So what we're doing is just getting the paint to flow around it. There is another paint that's going to be used for the top. I hope you can see that. I took out a shot, I think. Dudley's sitting there waiting for my granddaughter to turn up. Probably hear him in the background giving me grief as usual. And then, so we're just detailing that up. Okay, there's some pipe work which is black, that I know, and it's actually from that section that comes round and into this one and same here this side which goes all the way around making sure we've got it all and from that area to that and of course in the middle and around there to that part lovely right there are some small parts on here on the gearbox which we'll just detail much to do to be truthful that one that little square there is black so I'll paint that all in as it should be like so and then we have again clean the brush off some red a lot of the wiring on this engine is red so we're going to go for that next and we're going to use a smaller paintbrush when I can see one like this we're down to a 10 zero now What you're looking for is wiring, not its looms more than anything. Wiring looms. And all you're going to do is just drag the paint along it. Just to get a little in there. And the hands aren't steady today for some reason. Right. So basically, I'm happy with the engine the way it looks. We'll give that five minutes and we'll come back with a wash. Okay, so next job is to come in. I've got some uh, Windsor & Newton oil paint. And all we're gonna do is get a slightly bigger brush. Please excuse Dudley. And we're gonna do the inside if I can get the camera down I'm trying to get some light in there as well there we go right so we're gonna take a dab just a dab of sienna and we're placing it on the smaller areas I 
inside the nozzle Hang on, let me just turn that off and all the way round just like so so there's little dots inside there all the way around it now we can clean the brush up put that out of the way for a moment then I want a fairly stiff brush this is just a cheap and nasty brush and we're going to drag those dots backwards to give the look of the flow of air if you like just to bring it up just want a little bit more in there Just a touch, just so we can drag it, drag it back. To make it look just a little bit more burnt. So we now, I don't know how well the camera will pick that up, in there we've got the flow of our air, which is obviously pushed out at quite a high rate. Clean both the brushes up. Bin that, so we don't get in the way. That soft brush needs to be cleaned. and everything now what we're going to do we're going to come in with a special ibuprofen wash now this is a mixed up wash that I use all the time it's made with aqua gloss and Windsor and Newton's black ink Go on, Wigo. And it's very, very easy to use. We're just going to get a brush and we're going to paint the whole of the inside of the nozzle with it. This will bring all the details out and it will knock back the red of the burnt Sierra and it will also spread it all over right across that brings out all the detail work and that looks brilliant in there now so we just give it a coat right now we're gonna start with our engine and we're just gonna lay it on Please excuse Dudley again. He's just found that my granddaughter's arrived, and we're literally just spreading it all over the bubbles. That if there is any, are any, is any, are any, will just disappear, and we're just gonna lay it down roughly. I'm not being fussy. I'm literally just spraying it on. And this will all dry up and it won't look blue, it will look black. And it will 
hopefully come up really really nice everywhere it's got to go all across our igniters everywhere a little drip there move that and the same for our other end literally just plonk it on this also protects the paintwork because it's aqua gloss or an aqua gloss base I should say all the way across we're given everything a really good coat all the way across just making sure we get rid of all the extra excess that we don't want on there now let that dry and our engine will be complete and so far I'm very happy with the way it's looking let's hope Nick is okay right so that at the moment is our engine we've got our nozzle to do which will be the next stage we'll get that sorted but I'm going to leave that to dry for now have an afternoon with my granddaughter and then come back and we'll do some more a little later on have a look in there just to make sure yeah it's just sweet looking good okay so we're quite happy we'll let it run See you for now.